Hey everybody, it's David, the Timeless Runner again with another short yoga session called Yoga for Seniors, Yoga for Beginners, Yoga for You, and anyone else who's curious about what yoga is, how to do it, what the differences are between the different styles, and how it can be of benefit to them in their daily lives. So I just uh, finished a quick run to warm up. Typically what we want to do for warm up is to do some breathing exercises to clear our mind and to relax our body. So one of my favorites is to put one hand on my diaphragm or your stomach, the other one up on my heart. And then inhale deeply, you'll feel your chest expand. Hold it for two beats or three, and then exhale twice as long as the inhale. Empty your lungs of all those toxins, feel your diaphragm compress. Get all those toxins out of your body by exhaling again twice as long as your inhale. And just relax. Put your arms down at your sides if you like as you're doing these. Then start by raising your arms up over your head and inhaling as you raise them. And hold it for a beat and then exhale down. Exhale on the down twice as long as the inhale. At this time we're going to start some gentle twisting. So as we get the hands to the top, we're going to rotate our body and look over our rearward facing shoulder. Come back to the center, reverse the direction. Gentle stretching, not uh, anything violent. Want to take it easy and warm up the muscles. You can do as many of these as you like. I'll usually do about five per side. So Rotate our shoulders around, get them nice and loose. What we do in one direction, we always do in the other, so reverse them. You want to do some strength building. One of the variations is to make big arm circles. That'll work your triceps. Move on down to do some hip circles. And just find your natural rhythm. You don't need to do them fast, nor do you need to overemphasize them by going too slow. Whatever is right for you in the speed that you're comfortable with doing them. Today I'm going to move on down to the ground for a step bell. We're going to do a, a low lunge or a kneeling lunge. This is where we kneel on our one knee. The other one is going to be uh, thigh parallel to the ground and the foot perpendicular to the ground. And you want to stretch up. 
And then as you lean back, you'll feel a stretch on the hip flexors, which is really good after exercise. It's good before exercise as well, but really good after. The further you lean back, the better it is. There is a variation on this where you can reach behind you, reach down towards your heel, and you can pick your heel up if you can. I cannot, so I don't, but I can, again, spread the shoulders, open your lungs, and lean back. You reverse it over to the other side. So that with the hands up above, find your balance point. I'm on very soft ground today, so uh, it's not as easy to balance. It's a little, balance, it's a little more of a challenge. And again, lean backwards, feel the stretch in the front of your thigh, your quad, up through your hip flexors, open your chest up, and lean backwards with your hands. You can reach your ankle and pull it up, that's great. Again, I cannot do that. Then we're going to go down into a tabletop position. We're going to do some pointers. So we want to lift our leg up off the ground and push our heel straight back. And with our opposite hand, we're going to point forward like a dog, pointer dog. I'm going to hold that. A little strength building exercise for you for your quad and your leg. Well, those a little bit of work on balance. Always hold them for about 15 to 20 seconds. That's usually enough to do anything without straining yourself, but enough to give you the work. Again, push your heel out straight as you do these. That'll work on the back of your uh, leg, your hamstring in particular. And then I'm going to do some viewing hip circles. Just going to be standing on our knees, our hands a little forward, arms a little forward, rotating our hips. Big motion. Again, first in one direction. And then in the other. And anytime you feel any pain in doing any of the poses or stretches or exercises, stop. Don't go any further. It's not worth risking the damage. Okay, we're going to take a couple of deep breaths while we're here. Again, get the toxins out from the exercise. I'm going to finish off with two stand-up poses. The first is a high lunge, which is the stand-up version of that low lunge we did earlier. Again, we're going to be stretching out the, the quads. Put our hands up over our head to work on our balance. Try it on the grass sometime, you'll find out that it's not as easy as doing it on the floor. And we're gonna just bend forward to get the stretch in the glute on the front leg. Turn to standing, turn our trailing leg perpendicular to your body line and do a, a warrior pose. Warrior, you can go into a forward stretch for the side. And then a reverse pose, reverse stretch, as you'll feel in your groin and on the forward side. And we're going to go and do the other side as well. So we bend our knee and take a step back. Oops. Told you the ground is uh, not that stable. 
about that even. And then uh, hold our hands up over our heads, get our balance point. Feel the stretch in both quads. Bend forward in a controlled motion. That wasn't too controlled, but in a controlled motion. Feel the stretch in your glute on your forward leg. And then go into your warrior pose. From there, by turning your rear leg or your rear foot perpendicular. Stretch forward. Hold that to get the stretch on your left side in this case. To the rearward facing side. And then reverse it. Get the stretch in your groin on your forward leg and the right side in this case. We're always going to finish up the way we started, clearing our body and our mind, getting ready for the day ahead of us. Just relax, think of all the good you did today with your little short yoga session. If you like these videos, please click on like. If you want to see them when they come out, I do a couple of them a week, please click on subscribe. Hey, this is David, the Timeless Runner. I'll see you soon.